All right, before we get started here, we do want to talk about our presenting sponsor. That's Miller Lite, because whether you're shooting the breeze with your friends, flipping burgers on the grill, or tailgating on game day, crack open a Miller Lite and make your best moments even better. White Sox, Dave, you are the perpetual, hey, just one more guy, right? Which is good. Everyone needs a one more guy. Right? Yeah, let's Another do bucket. one more. Yeah, let's one more we can bucket. do one more bucket. We could do one more bucket. Come on. Responsibly, obviously. Mm-hmm. But uh, Miller Lite is uh, the light beer with all the great taste you love in a less filling beer brew to keep the good times going. Uh, the moments that might seem routine become something special with a crisp, cold beer is correct. And while any beer could be the start of a good time, only Miller Lite can turn a good time into Miller time. With more of the taste you want and less of the stuff you don't, Miller Lite doesn't just have great taste, it tastes like Miller time. The next time you want to make the most of your memories, crack open a white can and let the great taste of Miller Lite hit your taste buds so hard you feel it in your heart. I felt that. That's where I want to feel it. Yeah. That's where I want to feel it. I'm thinking about getting rid of all my like back deck patio furniture and just having coolers for the whole You can sit in coolers? Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. Yeah, and I feel like it it makes the vibes better. Let's get then, up for a sec. Toss me. We'll a talk about this afterwards, but I think I got a good idea for an invention. Oh, all right. I like that. Can I Hopefully say something? Miller Lights involved. I feel like it's the whatever you're thinking has probably already been invented. A cooler chair? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> revolutionary. You need a back. You need, a revolutionary you need a back. Yeah. Very cool. Chair. Yeah. Cooler chair. Okay. Uh, Miller Lite, great taste, 96 calories, tastes like Miller time. To get Miller Lite delivered right to your door, visit MillerLite.com slash redline or you can find it pretty much anywhere that sells beer. Celebrate responsibly at Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Maybe like a collapsible, <sighs> collapsible beach chair. Table. Miller cooler chair. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, Bay Bang. Welcome to the mid show. Uh, presented by Miller Lite. As I just said, thank you to Miller Lite. We have a full crew here today. We are pre recording it because we are going through a laptop. Uh, transfer over or something, so all our computers. This is Pete. Yeah, Pete's making us have more secure computers. It's a Jamf thing. If anybody out there knows what Jamf is, we're doing Jamf things I still don't know what it is. I have no idea what he just. No one knows. People will look it up, Dave. I don't know if you gave something away, but. Hope not. Hope not. Did I, Tom? (laughs) Is he supposed to say that? Yeah. I I feel like that's just general. If you're going to hack somebody's computer, it's only right that you start with Dave now. Whatever that he's doing is about security, so I don't know if any information about the best the part of the best part of the so only us three have gotten it done so far um all of you guys behind the scenes have not yet but what they're like white Sox dave they're like hey uh, dave just if you're working on anything just uh please save it <laughs> I, will, I mean i was i had everything already saved already <laughs> right i know but it just i i know yeah. i know <laughs> it was just funny and he's just like nope <laughs> he just hands it over. i cleared everything out prior to him working on it yeah you know? why'd you do that Why'd you feel the need to clear? No, I meant I I saved all my work prior to him hopping on it. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Is there is there anything that might be important you need from the last seven years? Nope. (laughs) Just take it all. Just take it all. That's when um when I when I got laid off on my first job, they did like this like sneaky thing where they told half the company like go like they're like all right hey big company meeting all hands. And half the company was supposed to meet on the second floor, half the other half on the third floor, and they just axed everyone on the third floor. Ooh. And um, that's kind of a dirty move. It was kind of dirty. Yeah, a lot of people were upset about it. I was. It was just I, say it to your face. Yeah. Say what's going on. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, I think it kind of always has to be dirty because they got to lock you out of your shit. And yeah. Like, I don't know. So whatever. A I'm little not, personal touch would have been nice, like uh, yeah. that movie Up in the Air, where his job is to Clooney's job is to fly around and fire people. Yeah, it would have been nice. a nicer touch. Yeah, it would have been nice. Yeah. But I, they're like, yeah, like, you know, they're trying to be as, like, sympathetic as possible. People are, like, angry. I'm like, I don't, I hate this job. Like, thank you. Get yeah. me you out know? of here. <laughs> and uh, they're like, well, we got boxes. We got USB drives if you need anything. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, I have nothing. Like, I don't, just I don't give a shit right about out. anything. I was just like, you know what? Give me a USB. All I had was uh, Kanye just came out with the life of Pablo. <laughs> Threw that on a USB. I was like, all right, see you guys later. That was it. Did you just, reapply for your... Uh, stripper DJ one uh, job no, after I, that. I, I could have had a good start with the life of Pablo. Could have got the Don to the Don soundtrack Seriously, yeah. played on it. Um, could have been could have been the start of something special, like you said. Um, but hey, obviously, uh, some some recent happenings, so, some things we wanted to address off the top of the show before we got into talking about um, our work securities here, Dave. Mm-hmm. But uh, 
Steve, you could pretty much take the floor and lead us off. Yeah, so th- this has been kind of all over the Reddit. Um, you know, this dispute between Carl and I, the most recent thing between Carl and the group. And I'm trying to find it, scroll and find it on the Reddit right now. So I'll just read them for people who don't know. And I'm having a, it's been kind of buried here. I don't even think you need to say that, to be no? honest with you. There was a, there was a, there was a, a DM exchange that was aired out on Twitter. Yeah. I mean, it was, you know. Yeah. So that, I, look, I started getting DMs from this guy, um, or not even DMs, but just mentions from this guy over and over. Ever get, ever try to get a coworker fired? Uh, all these years, wouldn't have guessed Chief was a scumbag all along. Every single day, I was getting a similar message to that. And I had an inkling about where that could be coming from. And I, I think I sent you guys screenshots being like, what's, what is this guy after? And then he finally said, receipts say otherwise. So I said, send them. And then on uh, Friday morning, he sent the screenshots, which was just a random, you know, I don't know. I don't know why Carl chose to DM him, but this is also not the first time he has sent DMs to random stoolies about our situation uh, with what happened with the split between our group and him. Uh, so I, I didn't even notice that he had published uh, the, the receipts from Carl, but I got that message from Carl saying, I sent those messages in a dark place. If you want to talk about it in person, we can, but there's a lot to move on from if you want to. I've been in an awful place and I'm just coming out of it and do not want to go backwards uh, with anything. So I replied, my reply is out there uh, as well because I sent the screenshots from Carl and the one that I sent back to Carl to that same kid knowing full well that he would post it because it's like, this is bullshit. Carl is like trying to spin this narrative that I made the office toxic, that I was the problem. He chose to move on from us. And that just wasn't true and it didn't sit right with me and he's like making up lies about what happened and what I did and that I was trying to get him fired. Uh, That was never the case. Uh, We just, as a group in December, decided we can't work with this guy anymore. And it's, uh, there has been really 10 years of discretions. And obviously when we all went full time and we're working together every day, uh, those things just just pile up. Uh, we're talking, you know, and I referenced, uh, you know, that there's a behavior of lying and manipulation, uh, just erratic behavior all over the place. I mean, it, it is a laundry list of um, of bad behavior. And it wasn't something that we, you know, it wasn't a spur of the moment thing. It was a thing that it's like we had been dealing with this essentially every day or 95% of days going back to 2018. And, uh, you know, when we started doing Redline Radio, the four of us in a, in a real way, and it's just got to a point in December where we, the three of us and, uh, you know, and the rest of the room and Danny and decided we just didn't want to uh, continue on the way that we were continuing on. So we, we, made, we made a change. We told him that in December. And then we, you know, said, we didn't want to bury him necessarily. So we gave him this, you know, the opportunity to have this storyline. Hey, I'm focusing on barstool baseball. Um, and, you know, then he moved, did the Arizona move. Uh, and that was like, hey, like he can, he can save face. And since then, he has just been taking pot shots, DMing people lies, trying to, I don't, for what reason and to those people, why he was doing it to those people, I don't know. Uh, and then obviously like he sent me those messages that there was in a dark place. He's always, that's always his thing. And he would have, I know from dealing with him for 10 years that that is just a a way for him to try to not have any, I don't know. I don't know. Consequences, I guess is the only word I can think of right now for his actions that it was, I was in a dark place when I sent those, you know, blah, blah, blah. But if, if he hadn't been outed, he would have continued with it forever. And, uh, and I, you know, I think everybody is just sick of the behavior and, uh, you know, we're trying to do our own thing and he can go and do his own thing. It's just people who, who don't want to and can't work together anymore. And that's, I think that's where it is. That's, that's the truth of the situation. Never tried to get him fired. I wasn't DMing stoolies, uh, about him. In fact, you know, when we get tons of messages 
being like, what happened, what happened? You ignored all of them. Cause it's like, we had, you know, agreed to this storyline, but once he breaks the storyline, then we'll just have to tell the truth. And, and that's what the truth is. So, and it's been more serious things than just this. Like, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, a lot of people think that there were was a specific incident between Carl and I recently back to last summer when we were on the Dave Portnoy show and I was kind of flying off the handle. Um, I was pissed at that comment he made, but that was, like I said, on that show. I went and rewatched it again yesterday. That that was kind of just the boiling point. And whether I was right or wrong, like, Carl knew that what he was doing at the time and and like Ed said there wasn't like Carl like years ago lost the autonomy to take those sort of digs at me knowing fully what he was doing but like the I don't really have a ton to add to it other than like I it was the worst part of working for Barcelona Sports for me was coming into the office every single day and not knowing what kind of Carl we were getting. It could have been on some days, a great Carl on some days, a bad Carl. Um, and it, it was, it was just too stressful and we didn't work well together. So we decided to make the split. Yeah. But it, and it wasn't and, like some days it wasn't like a 50, 50 thing. No, no far from a 50, 50 yeah. thing, far, far, far from a 50, 50 thing. But, um, and, and it's like the, the far extremes are that he gets physical yeah. and he's screaming at people and screaming at stoolies and, and screaming at us and the behind the scenes people and putting his hands on you and threatening to put his hands on you as recently as that Declan's day. Um, yeah. So, you know, so the, it's, it's Carl like has put his already. hands on me a few times. He's the one person on earth that like, I don't, I don't know why with him, like I kept giving him the benefit of the doubt because this the first time he put his hands on me was was it eight nine years ago something like that it was at joe's on weed street and we got into it he he put his arms around my neck it was like we were just all fucking around in the front of the bar and like i didn't do anything to have him put his arms around but i was in such shock that i couldn't believe it happened one other time the third time was at uh declan's and like I've talked about this before as a joke, but I actually pulled this move to Carl. I put my hands under the desk. I said, hit me as hard as you want. I'm not going to move, but you better knock me out or kill me because when you hit me, I'm going to get up and I'm going to try to knock you out or kill you. That's what I told him. And he just is pacing around going fucking nuts. So, but yeah, it's, it's a, it's the guy lies too much. He's untrustworthy and you just can't, you can't work with someone like that at all. Yeah. And yeah, I mean right. this like him lying about us and in this instance specifically Chief, it doesn't sit well with me. And like there, there's a reason he's not here because he would spin it. There's nothing to spin. This is the 100 percent truth. So there's like there's no reason. Like he, if if he were telling the truth on the show, he'd be in complete agreement with us. So it's we don't need a fourth chair for this. Like to hash it out back and forth. I don't think. Yeah, I mean I just want to reiterate too, like. When, it, when the kind of split happened, it, it was done. And I was like, hey, it doesn't have to be this messy thing because, like, this job is a very personal job and you're mm-hmm. dealing with people's lives and you got to go out there and kind of face the music, so to speak. So it was like, hey, let's do this kind of amicably. Like, it doesn't, like, you'll move on, we'll move on. And that's just kind of the end of the, uh, end yeah. of the road, obviously. Like, we didn't plan for these details to come out. But, I mean, at this point, it's like I, I couldn't, I couldn't fall and we kind of left the ball in your court like hey you're mm-hmm. the one who's yeah. being directly attacked like hey if you want to say something like i i yeah. i i feel like you know yeah i mean respect and, to you to let to put you in that spot where it's like it, it, I, you deserve to say your piece on this because um he kind of broke the the decorum of what it was supposed to be which is always the thing you know and i feel like he's had so many chances and we just always just swallow it and bury it and and yeah, I think, you know, we all talked about it a lot since Friday back and forth. And it's like, if you guys felt like we shouldn't do it and I kind of waffled on it, you know, even a little bit last night, whether I was whether, waffling on it before hit because it's just like, you know, like the, the big reason for wanting to do this split was just to be fucking done with the drama, you know, and done with all of like the baggage that comes with having to, to work with him. And now it's just like, we're right back in it. But it's like enough already, and and it's just like this, you know. 
Yeah, it, I mean, for all, the, yeah, for all people who like were looking for context on why uh, Dave he didn't have that leeway with Dave, like there you go. Like, yeah, here, this is this is not everything, but it's a lot I, of it. Like I, I'm not trying yeah. to play pity party, why me right here, but I for the longest time, at least until somewhat recently, I got the worst of it. Yeah. Now, for whatever reason, you're getting the worst of it. I don't. I have not the slightest clue why he said that tweet the other day. Like I would do anything with WSD. I don't know where that came from, but like he treated me like complete and total dog shit. And it was. It got to a point where it was embarrassing to be out in public with him because he would fly off the handle at random people, random like for instance, stealing the, phones from people. I mean, it's it's crazy. The, There's like the insane first stories. Day I ever met him. I had I had known him on the internet for a little bit at this time. This is back when we were like, you know, he was slinging insurance, I was slinging freight. This is years and years and years ago at this point. But uh, we're in a taxi at the time. This is like how long ago it was. We didn't even call him. We were in a taxi. Taxi driver pulls up like a half block past where we're supposed to go, so we could find a, a parking spot on the curb. And and Carl just freaked out at him. And I was like, that was very very odd. Fast forward 10 minutes later, we're in some late night Mexican joint. He snaps on the cashier because Carl wanted to pay for my food. And I'm like, no, 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 I'll pay for my own food. The guy took my card instead. The Carl just lost his fucking mind on the guy because he took my card instead of his. It was just like those are two very small examples of the kind of shit you had to deal with on a on a very regular yeah, basis. Yeah. So. And there's plenty of people out there like that are listening to this that can corroborate these kind of stories. Yeah. So I, you know, and I think part of, you know, I got, I used to be, um, someone who would kind of defend it and dismiss it and mm -hmm. all that. And I just got to a point like, I can't do it anymore. So then I was just quiet about it and kind of ignored him. And I think that's maybe that's why I, I, I don't know. I started getting the, the ire. Well, I don't know. I, I don't want to play like therapist yeah, or anything. Yeah. But. No, but I mean, that's when it really started to bleed into the content last year. And, you know, for people being like, oh, what's going on with this? What's going on with that? And it's like, hey, like a lot of you were right <laughs> about some things, yeah. you know? And um, that's where I was like, hey, like there's just, I just, I just kind of look through. I was like, I just don't see a path forward. And, you know, like, Shit, like it's you know I, I know people liked it as a group but unfortunately like things just end and people move yeah. on like shows not even nobody well, was enjoying know, doing yeah, the show and yeah. the show suffered and um and it just seemed like the right time because obviously the big move and, and, and a big part of this people people got to understand the structure is the four of us have always been fucking handcuffed together you yeah. know yeah, it's always yeah. like oh if one person does it one person but like New York, that's been such an advantage. Like, there's so many people. There's so many different people. You can do a million different things. You can do whatever things, you right. want. And um, we never had that. It was always, like, everything you do. And it's just, it, it got it, it got tough. It got, yeah. it got very tough. And it just seemed like the perfect point to kind of make the split because it was, you know, after the football season. and New Year. Everybody's yeah, New always. Year. Everybody's moving here this fall. So, I mean, I, I think and, that's. And then he had another thing to do also yeah exactly you know, like, that's the thing like yeah. and and there, there are plenty will, of reasons i will to do say it this all along and the way. i've said this very very like i don't want to say frequently but i've said it many times over the years i can't have a conversation with carl about baseball without personally learning something about the game of baseball carl is as sharp about the game of baseball as anybody and i'm not talking about like in a jared Krabbit sense where he could name the backup second baseman on the Seattle Mariners, some like obscure player. That's not Carl. Carl can break down the game as good as anybody. He knows the game inside and out. That's a perfect a avenue for him. It should have been a completely amicable. Hey, like it's not like we. It was never going to be amicable, come, but like, well, I mean, like amicable because like if you know it was I mean. amicable, we'd still be working together. Of course, you know, of but, course. But like yeah. he could go do his thing and then hopefully be successful. We do our thing. We're like yeah, we're, our numbers have gotten him. way better. I'm, no one's rooting against him. It's like. Yeah. If he has full control over that vertical, he can like that'll be good for him. Like and he like the shots that he took just I don't I, I've said this before in con, in content in a very serious manner too. Like I kind of hate the stigma I got here and there. Like I play into it sometimes, sometimes it bothers me, but like I don't want people to think that I'm lying about someone else's job security or something yeah. like that. That's what, and that wasn't even, he didn't even say that about me. He said that about you. That's where I was like, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I, I would never want the public thinking that. Yeah. Or I, anybody. And it's just like the, and like the thing that he's referencing was 
from the initial blow up, which happened about a t- that was caused by Dante airing a grievance that he was thinking he was texting me. He texted a group chat with me and Carl when they were both in Arizona two years ago and Carl lost his mind. I never even said anything. And then he lashed out at me on Twitter, which that's all public and out there for people to go back and and check as well. But it was just like he he like freaked out about something that I wasn't even involved in and didn't even say and, and made me the, the center of that again. And he's like, you tried to get you know a sponsor to not work with us like buddy at that time we were all together. So like if I'm telling the sponsor not to work with you, I'm saying not to work with me and us as well. So like that just like there's just no logic. There's no truth to anything that he was saying. Um, so and it is what it is. And it's just like it's a long time coming. We, we tried to do it in a uh, the split in a way that wouldn't be ugly. Um, but it's like he couldn't he couldn't help himself. I don't know. I don't know what the deal was. And he's but. usually good at that, too. Well, uh, I think we, yeah, yeah. I think we, uh, think we've covered it all. I yeah. don't know if there, there's anything more. I, I mean, no. What about you guys? Anything? I mean, if, no. I don't want to put anyone on the. If yeah. you guys don't want to this speak, is a, this is a, don't have to speak. But yeah, but it was, you know, like I said, it, it, like I, I stand by everything I said in that text uh, to Carl. That's been out there, um, and I feel like that accurately sums it up. And and this is just further clarification on how we got here. It was, you know, it was not like a one-off thing. It was a thing that was years in the making. Um, you know, and it was a, a, a group decision, even this today, like if you guys have been like, I don't want to do it, then we would, you know, or, or I'm very uncomfortable with it or whatever. It is uh, uncomfortable. It is. Yeah, it is uncomfortable, but it's like, I think everybody was like, all right, like, you know, yeah. So, um, you know, we all kind of respect each other and work well together. So we all talked about it. Yeah, to put it in perspective for anyone who's like hearing this for the first time, saying like, why don't we address it? At our old crawl space of an office, we had a sit down with Dave Portnoy and it got so bad that Dave Portnoy himself told us not to air it. Yeah. So I mean, and that, that was that true. was after that Arizona thing or the, you know, the Dante, Carl, yeah. Twitter blow up Arizona thing. Have yeah. you really been following long enough? You know that there was none released Red Line Radio and that was, yeah. that's, that's what happened. It just got too real. And, um, Dave, it was actually Dave's call. You yeah. Know? So like Dave and like Portnoy Dave. Yeah. yeah. Portnoy, not, not Dave Williams. Um, the cool Dave. Just yeah. Kidding. Just Dave <laughs> one. Um, but yeah, uh, there kind of it is right. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we could, we could move on and do the rest of the show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> White Sox, Dave, we got to get into your weekend first because... <laughs> Why do you got to get into my weekend? That's my weekend. That's not work-related. Well, what do you mean it's not work-related? It's work-related when I'm sitting on my work-related <laughs> Twitter account and I get a DM that says, hey, I got Dave's wallet. I couldn't message him to... to get, couldn't get him to message me back. It's with the Sox. Um how happy were you when you got that DM? <laughs> oh my god! I was, <laughs> you can you can tell you can tell him what uh, I did. It should be like uh, Sean Evans on Hot Ones. Explain that Instagram. <laughs> explain that tweet. What I want to know is is why she put. I didn't know that Target card. And shout out to Nicole. Thank you for finding my wallet. Um, I had no idea that Target card was even in my wallet. It was just one of those cards that got lost. I think so, she like was it a, digging it's just through a it. gift card, right? Yeah. Oh, you think she's oh, she's probably looking for your license. She's probably not trying to help it's you out. It's right there in the front flap thing. I do you you guys watching and listening and all that stuff can all um can take your shots at me for having a Costanza wallet. I do deserve it. <laughs> it is a Costanza wallet. It's you just You have it with you now? Yeah, yeah. hold it up. Look at this. Back. This is like inception. Not really, but I got the wallet. That's it's like the... a twenty-five dollar wallet I got at Nordstrom right yeah. that fat. That's that's, I thought it was gonna be fatter based yeah. on that picture. Oh, you moved the uh, the Target card. Uh, Alyssa Bergamini, she got it. She got she my got wallet the bonus. to me. She reorganized so she got it. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was so happy when I got that. I was like, <laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> what night was that? Uh, Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday. I'm like, of course, my brain goes through the worst case scenario. I'm like, Dave has to be, you know, face down in a gutter. Yeah, face down. <laughs> Where'd she say she found it, Dave? So. I saw her, so I, I was scanning her profile. I'm like, where did she find this? And she was sitting right by me. I didn't say anything to her during the game or anything. I haven't even met her yet. I am going to buy her and her brother um, beers the next time we're at a game together. But um, I was like kind of right behind home plate, but like more towards the concourse, not like first row. Mm-hmm. And no I, scout seats. I really think all I did was because I was when I'm walking, I'll just put my phone in my like wallet pocket. And I think I just pulled my phone out and wallet came with it and didn't notice it. 
You didn't hear that when break did you drop notice? on the ground? <laughs> yeah. Did Eddie like, break the news yeah. to you that he it was did. gone? He did. Eddie oh, broke really? The news. You yeah. didn't even oh, know yeah. you didn't have it? I thought you were looking for it furiously. No, 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 no. For like 30 seconds before that. And then you texted me because I, I was doing like the frantic. Because yeah. I was at Cork and Carry by the time. Uh, the news broke. I, the news, like I figured it out. I'm like, oh, fuck my wallet. And then I see Eddie text me. Yo, someone's got your wallet. <laughs> I was like, yo, your wallet's at Sox Park, 9.34 p.m. Saturday. He instantly calls me, hey, you got my wallet? I was like, no, it's at Sox Park. He's like, dude, I'm not even drunk. I swear to God, this is just a fucking accident. And you actually didn't sound drunk, so I'm not going to say you did. Because that, in my I, head, that's where the story went. Yeah, of course. Um, but, no, you did not sound drunk. Uh, and, uh, like, it was so funny, like, people just having fun with it. And the guy's like, I, you just imagine Jerry Reinsdorf has that wallet. And you see what just I tweeted? It. Like the, yeah. they with the, in a boardroom, and Jerry's just smoking like a cigar him. in a dark room, and Dave's just fucking losing his mind yeah. on the other side. Anyone want 20 bucks to Target? <laughs> 25. Exactly. Do you think Jerry would keep it? Probably. <laughs> yeah, I bet I can get a nice little second baseman for that, for that gift card. Yeah. We'll put this towards arbitration. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That would be great. But yeah, I did get it back. Unfortunately, I had canceled my cards like by the time I oh. called you. So 30 seconds? That was like the whole it was bang, out. bang, 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 bang. Damn. I mean, you're losing it at Cork and Carry. You think that thing's a goner? Oh, yeah. It would have been a goner. Um, so Dude, this is like one of those times where you have to like just thank God you have this job. Because if you, if she didn't recognize yeah. you and yeah. your license, you're never getting that back. Never. Yeah. So are you Venmo Socks Dave for the time being? Uh, I was Apple Pay Socks Dave on Sunday <laughs> on Uber Eats. All right. Um, I had a nice little stash of money I didn't know existed in there. That's what I ate with. That's nice. Um, had to get that today, wall money. I am. I I'm good. One of my cards came yesterday. The rest are going to be here today. Oh, it was speedy fast. Yeah. Yeah. It was speedy fast. Good for you, Dave. People were also noting that you put your baseball number in your signature. I've told license. you that before. Oh yeah, he's always, oh on your license. You yeah. <laughs> I didn't know we did it on his license. Yeah. I, <laughs> you can zoom in. An absolute savage move. It's probably on his birth certificate. The, what, was, uh, what was your number? 24, 24. And then I put Hall of Fame 2007, my high school graduating <laughs> class. And they don't, the, the person at the DMV don't say nothing. He's just nope. like, oh, that's just, that's just DW, Hall yeah. of Fame. CCIW Hall or uh, 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 DuPage Valley Conference Hall of Famer. Are you really? Yeah. No, no, no. no. I, I, you had me for a second there. <laughs> I don't even think they have one for the conference. They don't the, for the school. They no, do. They I'm have not, to. Uh, There's an not in it for one. the school. Um, Unfortunately, I should be. Two time all conference. You quit football though. It was a for football baseball. school at the time. Um, there was another note about the wallet that I'm that's slipping my mind. That was that was very funny. But I hate um, cons as much as anybody else hates cons. And <laughs> when he responded, I'm like, cons, you can have this one. <laughs> You're allowed to have this one, Connor. Oh, How would you rank your like kind of content? Because we just had the show yesterday with, with Marty, Marty. And uh, Marty, those kinda, two are Marty like, had his way with you a little bit in that show. He Marty's a little runt. He's not. I shouldn't call him a runt. Like Tommy, Tommy smokes is a runt. Marty's just a little pest. Yeah, he um, gets under your skin, though. Cons is just... Like, Mar Marty doesn't get under my skin too much. Cons gets under my skin. Cons, after Oyster Gate, I called him at, like, 1 a.m. Central Time. And, it, obviously, it's 2 a.m. there. I knew he'd be in bed, but he was responding. And I, I FaceTimed him, and he, and he gave me the fuck you button right away. <laughs> and I uh, I text him, I'm like, you better answer this fucking FaceTime. He's like, I'm in bed with my wife right now. Which I'm I like, think is I don't care. You leave the bed with your wife. Like, we are... And I'm just yelling at him. Did he leave the bed? Uh, yeah, he did. He oh, was really? in, I Can was you imagine <laughs> having... Scream to him about oysters. He was in, like, a parking garage. Like, I, his, underneath his apartment. I had this thought... That you, day and yesterday too, we need to set up a challenge with cons because oh, yeah. I have one coming in July. Okay. What is it? That's, the only issue is is that I will be, um, I will be using an AR-15 assault rifle. Mm. So I don't know if it's going to be safe because I might end up, you know, getting a little trigger happy. Oh, okay. Just kidding. It was a <laughs> joke. It was <laughs> content. <laughs> uh, what were you gonna say? Um, I just That's I just can't true, imagine too. like Khan's coming back from the call with Dave and his wife's like, Where did you go? And then him having to like explain 
I was arguing about oysters with a coworker. I've met his wife a few times. She invited me to their wedding. Oh, I almost really? I almost wanted to go to his wedding just in spite of him because his wife invited me. Yeah, and sit on the bride side. So, so. I would have. I would have. Does anybody object? To I would have obje- objected. I would have objected. That would have been a lose-lose like lose run situation. for your life, run for your life, Mrs. Cons, run. That would have been a lose-lose situation for you. Why? Because everything you would have done there would have been scrutinized heavily. Oh yeah, but people know Cons is a doofus. You yeah, think, but you think he but I would say you I would control the narrative at your own wedding. I would say in a wedding uh, forum, he might have you edged. No offense. You think Uncle Chaps would have had my back or Connor's back? Probably or yours. Or Kate. Yours. Thank you. But. The two people that know him the best. So we should probably err. <laughs> but with I, their, I, I think his wife might be up there with people yeah, who know she, him I'm best. talking about coworkers. But I'd still say in a wedding forum, like, cons still have the upper hand. Only one way to find what out. What do you mean by that? Like he like he he would know wedding etiquette better than Dave. I've only ever been to one wedding with Dave. Who's wedding? It was Carl. <laughs> um, Oddly enough, yeah. But I don't remember. I don't remember Dave doing anything out of out of pocket there. No, it's a wedding. You have fun yeah. at weddings. I'm an awesome what time at a wedding. <laughs> you think you're an awesome time every Well, wedding. I am. Like, yeah. I don't remember I don't you on the dance that. floor really. I was dancing. Were you? I was dancing. Okay. It takes me a little bit to get lubed up, but I was dancing. Okay. All right. Was he? Play Don't Stop Believing. <laughs> oh, you probably fucking pestered the DJ. I was pestered the DJ. doesn't matter where we are. <laughs> He's like, why does this wedding oh, have touched after, after the Sox game on Saturday, I was with a girl not to brag. Uh, I did have to Venmo her <laughs> the rest brag. of the night. Brag it a little bit. And, oh, that's <laughs> the yeah. fucking worst. We, uh, <laughs> hey, you got me? <laughs> we... Um, <laughs> We we went to Country Club after Cork and Carry, and I texted Tom. I'm like, Tom, I don't have – this is big time. We just did the bartender challenge with. I don't have my wallet. I lost it. You better – like, you tell your doorman I'm getting in that fucking bar. He let me in. I wish he made you sweat at least a little bit. Nope. No. What? How did nope. that conversation go? Was she just, like, totally – She low? didn't care. No. Did you, was that, like, can I just ask a couple I had questions? gone out with her before. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. So, so I've, I've, been here fine. I've known you had her a track for a record. She knew yes. the drill. She knew, like, all right, like, I'm going with a guy who might lose his wallet. Right? <laughs> yeah. I better right. bring a couple yes. extra bucks, like, just in case. <laughs> he's, yes. He's a liability. Yeah. Yes. An absolute liability. Yes. Um, <laughs> real quick, speaking of a couple extra bucks, if you have some, you should go check out the Barcel Sports Store. And uh, are these on sale yet? The, the Father's Day collection. It's we got a out. great Father's Day shirt. Uh, yeah. where, Pilar just texted us. What does Pilar have to say about this? Um, Probably don't promote yesterday. the shirt yet. <laughs> uh, we do have a, a great new line of Father's Day merchandise coming out. Nevertheless, whether it is in the store now, it will be very soon if it's not. So go take a look. at store.barstoolsports.com backslash Chicago backslash collections. And yeah, we got the old... Like old school air the, monarchs yeah um, yeah the, what are, what, Phyllis? they're not air monarchs so they're 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 a different brand they're dad um, shoes as you can yeah see, dad, shoes. dad shoes yeah correct yeah. um these are they're, they come in navy too sweet shirt sweet i mean the ultimate dad shirt these are back on sale we got our chicago golf collection these hats the official the finally the friday 120 hats that i've been wearing for like a week or so two weeks uh they'll be out this friday so they'll be available Perfect. for sale. The Connor Bedard uh, Lotto number shirts are for sale. Those are sneaky. Sell the team shirts. Sell the team shirts. They're, I got a lot of compliments on mine on Saturday. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, more to go. Store.barstoolsports.com backslash Chicago backslash collections. There we go. Yeah. Great job, Dave. But I feel like we have new merch in there for the first time in a, in a little bit. That's fire. So I'm happy about it. Check hey, it out. Speaking of the, the, the little date action, Dave. I, have you ever heard of this group? I'm trying to pull it up right now. Um, my 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 buddy got posted in it. So apparently there's Facebook groups to find out if girls are dating the same I've guy. I've heard of this. And he got posted. And I'm like, we were all like, whoa. Like, it's yeah. a real screenshot and threw it in our group chat. Was it the guy who got a girl played on his third date with her? No, it wasn't him. He's not. He, he's, he's, he's thankful. Yeah, he's. <laughs> Does anyone he's, know Gero Man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he took me to get Gero's. I heard it on a podcast. It was not Gero Man. It was not Gero. I'm trying to fucking. I can't find the text, damn it. Um, but I didn't know that existed. It's kind of very smart by the ladies, though. Yeah. Very smart. You know? It's kind of. I, it's kind of like a big compliment if the girl posts you in there because she thinks that the guy that she's dating is probably 
is like a real ladies man you know and then like the best case scenario would be to post him or get yourself posted and then not be the cheater yeah is it like they post it out of suspicion or it's like hey just making sure for before i get in too deep with this guy probably uh, both. seen him before i just found it the name of the group is are we dating the same guy chicago and it says thoughts on my friend's name 32 haven't been out yet but wanted to throw it out there and it's a picture of him <laughs> look at that hold on let me try to well it doesn't it doesn't expand but you see that i do probably not the best visual oh there we go tom's got the group up there but yeah so what's the uh, description say 79,000 that's people fucking in this insane group? oh my god this is a group for this group is a place for women to protect and empower other women while warning each other of men who might be liars, cheaters, abusers, or exhibit any type of toxic or dangerous behavior. There will be three main uses of this page. It can be used as a place where girls can warn other girls about toxic men. It can also be used to inquire about men you're seeing or who you just met to see if they have had any experiences with that person slash check to see if anyone posted any warnings about a man. It is also a safe place for relationship support and advice in general. Wow. Leave that up there. Leave that I up don't there do for Facebook a second. Anymore. I, I don't have Facebook anymore. 79,000 people. That's 79,000 women. And that's just fucking, Chicago, right? Yeah. 79,000 yeah. women who definitely fucking hate Tom Sandoval. That's that's a <laughs> that's a lock in that group. You yeah. following that whole thing? Not really. So I've seen like a few episodes of that show, but I have I know enough girls that it's just like you hear, like you catch like shrapnel references about. It's probably one of the biggest like reality TV stories in a long time. Yeah. And it's like, right? so that's from the show. Um, uh, fuck. I just. Vanderpump, Vanderpump Rules. Vanderpump Rules. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been to that restaurant, sir. Have I went you? been there in like 2016 or 17. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Not to brag. Um, so well, how do you feel about that though? How do you feel about this group? Is this a, I don't know about. This is one of those things where you, it's I, like, you don't like this. I know you why? don't like this because the what you don't like is other people reporting the toxicity. Uh, yeah, but I would, I don't think I would end up in there. Nah, I'm gonna post no, myself on there, and they're all gonna be like, "I've never seen this guy in my life." Don't worry, <laughs> we've never dated him. Yeah, it, it's like, but I do think there is like a. First of all, I don't think I'd be I'd be wondered. I would wonder if girls who saw a guy that they were dating. And they got the guy had like a negative review. If that alone would be enough, yeah, like maybe like he helped for guys. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. But that's what, what I'm is. saying. This goes back to like throw off the dating angle, all right? But it comes down to like the social credit score, yeah, thing. No, I don't like social credit scores. But that's I also what I'm saying like, you don't like this because of that. You're not you're not a guy who I, dates a couple women at the same time. No, I I, I don't know how people manage that. I, I got a either. buddy who it's hard. He, he, <laughs> I had a buddy who had two girlfriends for how long though. Did they know? I don't it? know exactly. No, fuck no, no. Like where? Like more than? I don't, I don't talk to him anymore. Like, was like he was doing two friend. Christmas presents, like that kind of thing. I don't know how serious it got into that regard. Okay. But like, like I said, I went to high, like it was long, long, long time ago. Well, we just um, did the podcast about that guy, the Getty family, and the guy yeah. had like a whole separate family. He lived in San Francisco with like his wife and four kids, and then he had a a second wife like a fake girlfriend with three children with the same woman like that's that was hidden like that's fucking crazy but i don't know yeah i don't know how people i would have too much anxiety about it i feel like about doing that yeah and it's like i think and you know if you're in like an early stages like before you're in a relationship and you're going on dates with multiple people because it's just that's different that's yeah. different it's right completely but different. The uh, big reason I always say to tell the truth because it's really hard to remember if you're like lying. If you're caught up in a web of lies. Yeah. Right. So I've had situations where it's like you've gone on like two or three dates with multiple girls at around the same time. And then you like make a reference to like, oh, yeah, I know. I told you that story. I told you that story. And, we were, you know, and then it was like wrong oh, girlfriend. I, yeah. Wrong girl. So it's like, that's the problem. So just I, never tell stories, <laughs> yeah, I guess, but, or just tell the same story to everybody. But it, it's like the, it's one of those things where it's like, if you progress beyond, like that's after like two or three dates. And then it's like, if that, if that becomes like a thing, you have to eliminate all yeah. of them except for one or all of them because it's, it's too hard to manage. It's true. 
And so, and I also feel like you have to be in a different tax bracket than I'm in to date. Multi, to date you know, it's multiple, funny. Like, it's actually date multiple women. Last week I did the rundown with large mm -hmm. and I was fucking with him and saying that he has two families and he's like, Eddie, it would be impossible for me to because my birthday is on Christmas. Oh, like, how shit. Do you, how yeah. Do you oh, yeah. 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 He's like, how, how would you handle that? You couldn't. Yeah. No, you can't. Mine's on Halloween. Same. Same for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like. Unbelievable. This guy's, you know, what happened to his Ditka costume? He used to love being Ditka. <laughs> no, that's, like, why well, that's why Dave goes to Shrek now. Yeah. He just hides his identity, bounces around between multiple parties. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, well, actually, it's a great costume to have two girlfriends, Dave, because it's like, oh, it's Ditka. It's like, oh, there's probably a bunch of those. Yeah, that's true, Like, too. if there's something yeah. super specific, then it's like, oh, there, there couldn't have been two. Yeah. Uh, Alan from The Hangover. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Alan's played out now yeah it's easy i almost feel like you could might be able to bring it back at this point it's been so long maybe yeah maybe i will this year no yeah. no you won't you're lame now you don't dress up that is true no yeah. i i'll i'll throw on the i've never liked halloween yeah i don't like it either because people about remember my birthday it's awful i don't want people to remember oh my birthday. stop dave you liked it you, you like liked a, it when i got you, you that like cake. a birthday shot yeah, i'll do a birthday shot but i don't want like phone calls you didn't like that like, you didn't like the tailgate birthdays. cake Oh, it was a nice touch. It was a nice gesture. I, yeah, I, you 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 often paint yourself as a recluse, and I don't know if that's accurate. It would you agree with me? It is and it isn't. Like that's a duality of man right here. It's I don't like to be around people unless I'm choosing to be around people. Well, that's it, you know, that. Like, I think that goes for everybody. But I feel like you you're very comfortable being home alone on the couch with the dog, but. Like when you're out, you're fucking out. Exactly. Yeah. Where it's like I might go out. Like you, I don't think I've ever. If we've been out together, I don't think I've ever stayed out later than you. No, there's no chance. <laughs> right. That there's is, no chance. Right. And it's like I've kind of like ah, I've had enough of this. I've had yeah, no chance. People. Yeah. How late did you stay out? Walletless. Uh, not actually, not all that late. Maybe one ish. Okay. Not too late. That's not bad. Yeah. I thought you would. You know, yeah, it's paint the what was the last time you were at the hang up to like Oh, uh, I haven't been to hang up. It might be pre pandemic. Oh really? Yeah, it might be. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've been at the hang up. Have you been to uh Damon since you been yeah, back I live over right there? Down the street from well Damon. that's what I mean. Yeah. I wonder if you yeah. stopped by there. Damon's awesome. Yeah. I always go to Damon. Back in saddle. They have a touchdowns. You I've seen you dominate. Yeah, two that. touchdowns. Two, two touch, touch tunes. Touch well, because the other front, one's another bar. One back, yeah. yeah. I'd also like to say sorry, sorry about your burrito dealer. He's um, back. Oh, he's um, back? Yeah, he got back yesterday. I, I haven't been in there yet to say hi, but... Uh, I feel like you should give you a the free The last one. time he... I mean, it's him and his family, and I'm talking like aunts, uncles. They have like four places right in my like couple blocks. Uh, they closed for two weeks the last time. They just were in Vegas for two weeks. Oh. I, I want this family to adopt me. I'm not kidding when I say that. They have, they're the happiest family on earth. They, they throw like like they grow they close their restaurant at six it's like late night mexican food but they they're only open 10 a.m to 6 p.m every day like nine to five like a normal office you, hours you got to be good as fuck to have those hours yeah exactly well, that's like the, the jim graziano yeah like we're close we're closed yes. when we're out when we're out of bread yeah you have to be but still yeah. to have working hours like that you have to be yeah but then bread. then they all they have a huge ass patio What's it called? at one of their houses i'm not telling i'll Why? tell you off camera Why? because i don't want people going there Oh yeah, that's true. You don't want to. Have what it. if he has to wait in I'm line? A, I'm about to release my top eight sa hot sandwich list, and my number one is the Quiznos. same boat. <laughs> no, <laughs> my number one. I'm in the same boat, but it's so good. I have to give them the props. It's um, I don't. I really. It's El Hardin on Huron. It's in the middle. Of oh, I've seen those. No before. fucking place. They, they definitely have more than one location. No, they don't. No, this is, no, this is complete mom and shop. I complete thought you said they have four places. They're no, no. They have like four like houses. It's like uh, the whole uh, family uh, lives uh, in like a one block well, radius. I'm thinking of something. But else. they one of the houses has a big ass patio, and once they're done working during the day, and they have a construction yard over there. With, I'm like, seeing empty two trash. El Hardines, Dave. That that's it's. I mean, that's just the garden in Spanish. So it'd be like. I don't know. It's These. just two of the same restaurants, same name. Yeah, but, um, this is the one I'm thinking of. Then. There's one on Halstead, I There's think. There's one on Clark. Or That's Clark, yeah. Grocery probably spot? Like... A little grocery section, Dave? But uh, when they are done with work, they, they'll they start playing some music. They'll all be partying on their patio, and I'll catch a whiff of whatever they're cooking when the wind's right, and I'm just like, oh. I want <laughs> I want to like invite myself to their little summer barbecues that they have four nights a week. 
just the happiest family on earth. I envy them. them. And they love me because I'll do toss in my do, broken Spanish. Do they have a, a yeah, but single daughter? Them. No, I do tip them. No, no bar. No, single daughter. Single Frank daughter. Oh, uh, not that I, I only know the mom, actually. It's all guys and then the the eld, eldest stateswoman. Okay. Who's kind of like the head honcho. The abuela. Mm, the abuela, si. And um, I love them. They're my favorite people on earth. You, who put this nice story in here? So LimeWire might be making a comeback? Let's raise $16 million over the for, on the blockchain. Is LimeWire needed anymore? I don't know. I'm guessing it's going to be just a paid-for streaming service just like Spotify, right? There's no other way they could do it. I mean, you could make it like the rip-off version again. And 17 someone, and a half million. It's going to be sued again, right? Yeah, it's still illegal. Yeah, I mean, I would say in its original format, it's definitely still illegal. LimeWire right. killed my computer freshman Many year computers. Many computers. Many computers. Yeah. What were you downloading? All sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. What were you downloading, Dave? All sorts of stuff. <laughs> all sorts of stuff? Mm-hmm. Danny? Uh, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, what are you downloading? Were you come Fiesta? <laughs> Probably. You know. Well, that was like before. Mike's I feel like that might, there might have been like a brief period where, like, streaming porn was like not as big of a thing. It was like uh, it wasn't really yeah. a thing at all. I don't think. Right? Duh. Well, no, but there were like sites like that. But then you would go to LimeWire to. Yeah, but there'd be like thirty second clips. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. you go to a site, and, like you, had you to pay download them throughout up. the school day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Then you rename the file like Paul Knurko two thousand five highlights, the <laughs> and you hide them in like a file that's hitting in multiple other. No files. wonder we're getting security on our laptops. Do you want to talk about the most nerve wracking? hours were the ones when you know you had a big one simmering yeah. and you had to get home right after that like you were just praying that yeah. whole you know if school was from 8 45 to 3 15 like you were just praying that nobody yeah. touched that computer yeah, yeah. That, that school of cock fully downloaded <laughs> exactly you were just praying limewire was a formative uh like even then like we we still somewhat had to work for it right Totally. Like these kids now, I know everyone well, has like this your conversation. Fifty-six k like, modem would take we, all fucking day. We had magazine. Like yeah. you know, I don't. Did of you guys have a second phone line? No, we didn't either. No. So if we when like no, for get AOL, logged off. Yeah, it's pick up like my sisters when I'd be they'd be pissing me off and I'd be pissing them off. They would pick up the phone, and start hammering the keyboard, and that would disconnect yeah. you and that would fuck up your progress. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen to that noise again. That AOL sound. Yeah. That was an all time. Mm-hmm. Like if you want, if you were pissed at them and they were online, you just yeah. pick up the phone, you just stare and at their yeah, face. That, that <laughs> sound is <laughs> yeah. that sound is so loud and oh, annoying. That, re- that reminds me, car got... alarm, dude. It, and sharing the computer too. It's oh. like oh, I get it's my time for an hour on AIM. Those were yeah, I want to play snood. Yeah, <laughs> we were. Does this look like a kid who would pick up the? Uh, phone mm-hmm. and talk shit to <laughs> his <laughs> sister mm-hmm. i mean i was like six there i don't know I was, this is this was when i was like uh some random guy at the cubs 11. game was like i got pictures of eddie as a kid and like send him <laughs> over <laughs> um i mean that was that was he was my dad's buddy yeah i was hoping they were more yeah, like uh, pictures makes, that makes it sound look concerning. like a shithead more incriminating <laughs> you know, right? yeah like i wanted eddie to like look like a fucking idiot he just looks like a cute kid it sucked but he like the way he like teed it up. He's like, oh, I got pictures. Of <laughs> yeah, like, embarrassing. All. I'm like embarrassing ones. He goes, Good Oh ones. yeah. And then he's like, Here. Well, he's like, What's your number? And he like texts me that. And I'm like, <laughs> Eddie in a diaper. Like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna get him now. <laughs> we got him. Um, so I, I mean, I also think going like NFTs have kind of sunk a lot, right? I feel I like that. Whole, well, I, I don't know what those are. I we believe, had. We so. had two experts sit in here yeah. with us what a year and a half ago something like that probably uh, and did a dog walk about it and they left and i was like i don't know i, don't, like, I never under yeah. i never really understood it but it, yeah it does feel like they they've all of that stuff but i wonder if that is more of a function of like the economy than that particular product i have where, no fucking where, clue. well people are like hey i got an extra 500 bucks i'm gonna invest it in some nft or now it's like I don't have an extra five hundred bucks. You know, I feel like yeah. that could be that could be a thing. A little less. But cash I feel is it, didn't Bitcoin hasn't Bitcoin kind of tank too? Like all of those. I have no fucking clue. I think Bitcoin kind of subsidized a little or kind of. Do you even What's know that? what subsidized yeah, means? That wasn't the right word. I was looking for. That wasn't Bitcoin right is word. down. Um, that's down. 
159 bucks today against the dollar. <laughs> Tom, what's Dogecoin at? Uh, Hoge. Hoge. Hoge, sorry. You thought you were going to be like a Hoge millionaire. Well, he, point, well, well I, am, you? I, am, I am a Hoge millionaire. Are you? I'm just not an American dollar millionaire. But wasn't there a point where you were like, I think I'm going to make... I remember like you were stressing That's, out at some event. That was also at Joe's on Weed Street. Yeah. At Joe's on Weed, it skyrocketed up to like I had $70,000. You had And you were like, I'm holding. Diamond yeah. hands. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still holding. <laughs> what is, well, what's what, it worth now? Like two thousand. Okay, yeah, that Stabilize. would have been a nice. That's a shame. I stabilized was the word. I, I got a text for this is smack in the middle of the pandemic. I, it was like two in the morning. I was playing Call of Duty, and th I'm I'm saying when I say middle of this was maybe June of 2020. And my buddy who lives down in Indiana, he texted me. He's like, "Hey, if you put fifty bucks into this and it gets up to one dollar, you'll make ten thousand dollars." And I think it was it was either Doge or Hoge, one of the two. Probably, it was probably Doge was the one that really went off. It went that, off. Wasn't that the one Elon used to fuck around with too? Yeah, yeah. I made twenty seven hundred bucks on it, like months and months later. And if I would have waited like another hour or two to sell it, I would have made the ten grand. I remember. Damn. Yeah, I was pissed, but I still I don't know, still nice little yeah. ROI. But for just what I don't even know what the fuck this fake currency bullshit is. Are you, Dave, what? The government's you, coming out with their own. Are they? Yeah. I'm yeah. sure that'll work. Can you give us your predictions on if we're going to, you know, hit a real crash here or not, Dave? And how are you preparing for it? Yeah. I'm, uh, what, what is, what is, what does he call them? Dante? Uh, not a hoarder. Like the guy from The Last of Us. He's a, a survivalist. Prepper. 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 I would love to be a prepper. I bought uh, I bought seeds one time. They're still in my freezer. I was, I was talking to Dante, and Dante's like, you got to get these seeds, yeah, man. Yeah, Dante, Dante's a, so I a have, prepper. So I have like a package in my freezer. I don't know if I still have them, actually, because I moved. Um, but I, I bought 20,000 seeds, just as like a joke. In case? No, it's kind of just for fun. Seeds might be the new currency. Remember that? What movie is that from? I don't know. Jack and the Beanstalk. Big short. Oh. Is it? Yeah, there's a line where like Brad Pitt's like seeds are gonna be the new currency, man. Jack and the Beanstalk. They actually made a live action movie of that one time as old, a kid. Old Jack. Yeah, Jack and the Beanstalk. Stock yeah. and the Bean. It's a good little little folk tale. Or you were a big uh, Rapunzel guy, right, Dave? Mm -hmm. Let down your hair, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> More to pull on. <laughs> They're like handlebars. <laughs> the uh, Did you like James and the Giant Peach? Uh yeah, it was it was a decent movie. The peach looked fucking incredible. You like big peaches? <laughs> yeah. And a little fuzz on them. Yeah, why not? <laughs> What's wrong with a big peach? Nothing. Just Nothing. asking. Yeah. Just talking nice fruit. Big old core. Yeah, I yeah. like I like that. I like that. What do you like about it? Uh, <laughs> the core. The way that they would just scoop it out with their hand was just something about it looked fucking. Yeah, even like with all those bugs in it. Do you think they you like gas and like you know upset stomach all that fruit? Well, peach. Yeah. Heartburn, dude. You like like an apple juice. Pineapple yeah. is like insta heartburn, mm -hmm. which you, is a shame. Pineapple, pineapple is? is awesome. Yeah, dude. The acid. You got a pre tom. I don't know if I. I don't think I've ever. I don't get, get heartburn. heartburn. You don't get it at all. I, I've gotten it like that's surprising more frequently <laughs> lately. Ricochet. Uh, that's not. That that's not a regular because you like salty meats. That is true. <laughs> like you're a you're a salty guy. You gonna take that, Dave? Yeah. He's right, it's right. true. Like, pull up when that breakfast right, right. sandwich he made the other day. Oh, that that I pull up his breakfast dude, sandwich he made last. Dave week. sat down here early, like two hours ago, and he's like, "I made this chili oil last night." Yeah, and then I made I'm this like, infused and like it, chili if, pepper oil. It, I've never heard a stomach growl louder than his growl. I'm like, <laughs> you was, got the rumble guts. He's like, "Oh yeah." I'm like, <laughs> it, it was so loud that if we were quiet and it happened, the mics would pick it up. Oh yeah. Did you see? Oh, there it is. Wow. Yeah, pork roll, roast an egg, me up. A sausage patty, bacon, cheese. Yeah, it was it was I was ashamed of myself. It was for that keto one. though. Dude, that's Ajuda no, City. It was on a it was on a sandwich. A little uh, fun, Chief. That's Ajuda City. Like you're you'll be That's a lot of that's a lot of meat. Yeah, you a lot of salted meat right Costco there. Costco size tums. It's all right. I drink lots of water. I think that's how you balance it out, right? That sounds right. I think to me. it's yeah. Mm. Sounds right. I'm telling it. I'm telling my brain it's right. So that's my I, rationale for it. It was fucking delicious, by the way. You Dave, tell me that's not delicious. Dave and I were out Did you um, toast the bun? on Saturday. I want oh, Hannah yeah. to 
weigh in on this. Kind of see it. And we were with this like group of girls that sat at our table. They say that they don't drink water. That girls don't drink water. What? You were you were there. I didn't hear that. Oh yeah, they're like, Yeah, we don't drink water, it makes us feel bloated. I'm like, it has literally zero calories. Do you not drink water? And then uh, then I saw it on TikTok where it's I like drink, girls don't that's drink water. Uh, by f- far the healthiest thing I do is I drink I would guess uh, I have a liter and a half that I fill up with tap water. I'll drink three or four of those a night. And then throughout the day, I would say I drink probably two gallons of water a day. You need those dip spit bottles. I mean, girls don't drink water. Why? Why? It's an accident. How? What? I don't, it's like, remember when we were talking about, oh, you're just cranky, just drink some water, have a snack. Have a snack, I know. We forget, I think. I'm constantly dehydrated. They made it seem, these girls made it seem like it was a conscious decision because it makes them feel bloated when they drink water. Oh, they need to take a mite all before going out. Kind of makes sense. Remember OBJ, Odell Beckham said that? Like when he was getting, he was getting cramps and they're like, are you hydrating? He's like, man, like I know this sounds stupid, but I guess it's different because this is like when you're doing something physical. Yeah. It's like, I don't like that water like swishing. Slogging around. And it kind of makes sense. That that kind of makes sense. But but then the other one is like Tom Brady drinks so much water. He's like, I don't need sunscreen. Because yeah. the water just like somehow. Yeah. There's a viral clip going around of Ryan Garcia saying he doesn't drink water. Really? Well, he really? couldn't drink water. He was saying because something he had to like, lose it, like a million pounds for that fight. Like it takes his edge off. Like when you're hungry or thirsty, like, you know, you don't eat before uh, getting out of the You're that's, that's struggling? Absurd. Can you pull that clip up? That doesn't sound He wants right. to be both physically and mentally thirsty. Well, actually, I get it. I mean, that's why I only drink like liquor and not really beer. Mm. You drink vodka Red Bull. Yeah, we could be casually drinking on a Monday night. Red Bull makes you more bloated than she, she, she had a vodka Red Bull at the um, yeah at the Bedard at the party Monday night. Yeah, yeah I'll like, still have water. Monday night at six o'clock. Give me a vodka Red Bull. This is it. Here Ryan it Garcia. I feel clip. bloated. Everyone watching me train because I don't drink a sip of water. Yeah, <laughs> why? They get freaked out. They're why? Like, why don't you drink water? They're like, bro, drink water. I said, I just don't need to drink water, bro. <laughs> okay, but I feel like you'd perform better if you did. I I just don't drink water, bro. Is it? <laughs> I don't know why. But was it? Was it? Did it start because you were younger and there and you were like something? Oh. I I don't know, bro. Just like water, just feel like it slows me down, bro. I just become more of an animal when I'm thirsty, bro. <laughs> Dog, this is hilarious. <laughs> It's like the ultimate. But like, it's funny, but it's so true. If anybody's watched me work out, like the show con- Showtime guys, uh, All Access, they're like, bro, do you ever drink water? I was like, nah, my coach, he has to make me drink water. I just don't drink water. I don't know why. It's just something I don't do. While you're training. You drink water. Yeah, while I'm training. After, I'll drink a, a couple sips. Okay. A couple so, sips. Like, <laughs> a couple sips. Then, Dude, that's, like that's crazy to me. Dude, yeah, it, this is like, and he's, the, he's, well, he just lost. Maybe his liver would have been fine if he drank some water. Yeah, he wasn't showing up like SpongeBob in Sandy's dome. Well, you know when you chug water and then your whole stomach gets filled like a water bed and you can hear it slosh and like yeah. pants don't fit. You guys don't have to wear high waisted pants. That's true. Like that's a struggle. Eight buttons. When three don't fit, that's the water. No. Yeah. Maybe I, if you're I'm drinking sorry. a full I'm, canteen, but yeah. if you're just regularly drinking like, you know, three, four bottles worth of water a day, I don't think you're gonna be gaining water weight like but that. But I'll I'll drink a carafe like if I'm out to dinner. I'll drink like a, like like a thing of water myself at dinner. Who here drinks the least amount of water besides me out of you guys? I would bet my life that I you probably drink the, have most. the most. Yeah. She said the least. I don't know. It depends. It's like don't I, just I start drink a lot of water. We, it depends if we have water here or not. We, yeah, we're that's used, true. Yeah. We're out a lot. Yeah. So so that's key. Uh, I'm because also, Icelandic just, Glacial no longer sends me my water. So. That's tough. I know. You're going to turn into Ryan Garcia. He's not drinking yeah. water anymore because of it. In spite. A, a few sips afterwards is what really got me. Yeah. But some people, but it is, do you, is it conscious or not? Yeah, it's very conscious. See, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, you have to be, like, I had that big jug when I was really going at it. Yeah. And like, it was conscious, you know, you're yeah. like, mm-hmm. you're, you're thinking about it. But if you don't think about it, I guess I could see. I also just hate, like, if I drink a lot of water, like, I don't have... Dave, it's easier for Dave because he's got like, he's got, he's got like the most unstoppable bladder of all time. Like that is I, true. if I'm if I drink a couple things of water, like I have to pee right now, and I'll, I've had this. That's it today. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. So like I like I ha- and I peed already once today. Did you here. have a coffee or no? I had a coffee in the morning. Wow. Yeah. 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 I don't know. But I don't know. You need it. My last roommate refused to drink water her senior year, and she would always get migraines. She would wake up and either drink. An orange crush, 
like imagine waking up in the morning and be like, oh, so dehydrated from going out. Chugs an orange crush or a root beer Ugh. for an entire year. Well, Goodbye. that's like, that's just called being young, I guess. Too. She started drinking water though. She did? She had to get one of the jugs you got. Oh, oh good. Question. Now it's like they will like, I'm surprised his trainer. I mean, I know he's an adult, but they like they arrest coaches basically now for not giving kids enough water. That, you, I mean, for wrestling, they have hydration tests and everything. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is outdoor Sean looking at? He looks so dehydrated. Sean does, <laughs> definitely does not drink water. Outdoor Sean just I'm slipping. Out. Looking for a straddle victim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we could uh, we can cut the show. Mm -hmm. um, that's it. Anybody, anybody got anything else? Any final thoughts, Edward? I, no. I'm mad at the... At, we can probably save it for Thursday, but the, the ESPN fucking stinks as a partner for the NHL. And uh, just like everybody drew it up, we got Vegas, Carolina, Florida, Dallas. The four teams that the NHL wanted in the playoffs. Yep. Uh, pray for Victor Weminiana to the Bulls. 1.8% yeah. mm -hmm. chance. Chief yeah. said before, Derrick Rose is a 1.7% chance. So better Prayers. odds. Prayers. Better odds than getting Derrick Rose. It, it, I mean, should we run an experiment where we do or do not go to Barcelona River North for this? <sighs> I mean, can I say? Oh no, I'm not going to say I it. Think you have to go. Well, I don't really care about Wamiyama. Oh fuck you! That and you don't care about the city. Scumbag chief. Damn. Maybe the people are right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Uh, uh, all right, we're cutting on that. Uh, thanks for